Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Crossover. Today we are going to be talking about do not lack wisdom. So, without further ado, or before we hop into the word, I just wanted to say uh, if you guys haven't checked out the previous video, or the video last week about seeking approval from God above man's, uh, I would actually recommend going to check that out. Um, doing pretty good. Uh, a good word and yeah i uh, just wanted to say that and now we're going to hop straight into the verses or actually the verse and the verse that we have today is uh, proverbs chapter 17 verse 24 it says sensible people keep their eyes glued on wisdom but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth so what I wanted to touch on was what is wisdom and why do we need it? So I guess I'll just start with what is wisdom? And I mean, there's not really much I could say about it. I mean, I've, I've talked about, you know, knowledge before and um, how knowledge is basically the thing I mean, literally the thing that you use on your day-to-day -day basis, you know, um, how I can describe it is the, is, I mean, as I said, the, the way or the things that you do in your day, you know, you use knowledge to make your decisions and um, your day moves on. So knowledge is really just, you know, your intelligence your intellect you know the way that you go about things i would say um the way that you make decisions and a perfect example for that is king saul now i'm not going to read the whole thing because it's very long but i'm just going to um paraphrase it give a short um you know sum up of the story basically king saul uh, God asked King Saul, you know, you can have anything, just ask me and I'll give it to you. And King Saul, being a new king, he wanted wisdom to lead God's people. And once he asked for that, God's, God was so amazed with his response, with his, um, with what he asked for, you know, being wisdom you know, since he asked for wisdom, God was so, you know, astonished. And God said, you know, since you asked for knowledge, I'll give you everything else that you were thinking of. And I mean, that, that's not saying is that, you know, oh, if God, you know, <laughs> asks you, what do you want then? And you ask for wisdom. It's not saying is that, you know, all that's going to happen like a genie kind of thing. Um, but all that to say is that, you know, wisdom is above all else. You use wisdom every single day, whether you know it or not. Every decision that you make uses some sort of wisdom and knowledge, prior wisdom and knowledge that you have, that you've had. And um, these decisions are made based off of that. Now, Sometimes you have to ask God for a little more wisdom because, you know, you need to make decisions for something. And let's say um, you need knowledge to uh, buy a car or you need knowledge about a job, you know, or a house or whatever it may be. You know, you need knowledge to make those decisions. And... Um, as you make those those decisions, I mean, yeah, God God leads you, you know, down the right path, down the path that he wants you to by opening doors, closing doors. You know, you may think is that you have control over your life, but I mean, really, you don't. Um, that's another topic for another time, like God opening and closing doors, you know, but um, to sum it up is that, you know, as you go on in your life making decisions, you may think is that, you know, oh, the decisions that I'm making are completely my own. You know, yeah, that may be true in some sense, but in the end, it's God that's leading it. God is closing doors in your life and opening doors in your life. What does that mean exactly? Basically, let's say you apply to a job. 
and that job doesn't accept you, you are rejected, then that's pretty much just God closing a door on you. You know, the path that you try and take, and as I said, I've talked about this, uh, or I've talked about this before, you know, um, making decisions and stuff, um, about how God, um, how God will open doors in your life and close doors in your life, and he leads your path. He leads you down the path that you should be going. And um, knowledge is something that we all need. You know, like me, currently, I need knowledge for school. And, um, you know, in order for me to do good in school and um, to, you know, get good grades, you know, I need knowledge, you know, and I, I need knowledge from God. Because I know is that with my own knowledge, you know, I'm not going to be able to do it. But with God's knowledge, I'll be able to get good grades in all my classes and be able to pass with flying colors. And um, well, with that all being said, now I'm going to talk about um, why we need knowledge. And I mean, I kind of already talked about that with um, the whole decision making. And... Uh, what I also wanted to say is that when you have knowledge, you're able to, as King Saul was, um, as King Saul was trying to get wisdom for, was to lead people. And sometimes you need knowledge, you know, maybe not for things in your life, you know, necessarily, yeah, you do need knowledge, but maybe not specifically, you know. Uh, maybe you need knowledge because you are going to become a missionary. You're going to become someone that is going to preach the word to other people in the streets or in other countries, you know, whatever it may be. But you need knowledge for that because um, you have to know what you're talking about. You know, you also need to be led by the spirit as well. You know, that kind of comes into play with that as well. Um, but the main point that I wanted to get at was how you know, you need knowledge for decisions. And that is a very big role in your life because there are a lot of decisions in your life that you're going to have to make and you will need knowledge for these decisions so that you can take the path that's best for you. Because God's plan isn't a plan to, you know, mess up your life and make your life miserable. You know, that's not God's plan. God wants you to have the best life you can on earth. You know, and by doing that, he has to close doors and open doors in your life. But in order for you to, um, what's the word? In order for you to move on in your life, to get to the next point in your life, you need to go through the doorway. And in order to go through the doorway, it may it might mean is that you have to do something or you have to make some sort of decision. And this decision has to be made with wisdom. Because if you don't have God's wisdom, you're probably not going to make the right choice and you're not going to go through that door. And um, God wants us to have that wisdom so that, as I said, we can better make decisions we can make decisions better excuse me and yeah you have to pray for this wisdom you have to pray continually you know constantly every single day every morning every night every every moment that you get just pray to god you know give me wisdom to make good choices the choices that you want me to make so with this all being said we are now going to have uh, the verse of the week so Josiah, would you like to give us the verse of the week the verse of the week is from James chapter 3, verse 17. It says, But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace, loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. This is saying is that if we get blessed with wisdom, we can um, grow in our relationship with God a lot more because we know that it's right to you know, like, pray to him and read our Bibles. And God doesn't want us to only use our wisdom for our relationship purposes with God. He wants us to use it to better ourselves. And like the verse listed, it's 
peaceful. It's it blesses us. Or it blesses you with all that stuff. Yeah, God. God wants us to use, you know, wisdom for ourselves as well. You know, as I said, making decisions. You know, that that's a huge role. You know, um, what are some examples of, you know, things that need a lot of wisdom? Um, jobs. Yeah, jobs. You know, um, big purchases like a house. You know, or a car, or marriage. Even, you know. These are huge decisions in your life that, you know, you're going to have to live with. And you want to make the best decision. I mean, hopefully you want to make the best decision. You know, um, there are a lot of things that happen in your life where you'll need wisdom to be able to decide the best uh, option that goes according to God's will. You know, and as I said, God's will is not to mess our lives up and make them worse. You know, they're to better our lives and have a good life here on earth. You know, yeah, everything may seem like everything's just crashing around us. You know, this, you know, more, more so recently, you know, it seems like, you know, just bad stuff is happening. And God's saying, yeah, it may seem like that now, but I still want you to live a good life. I still want you to live a life where you don't have to worry about things and yeah it may take some time it may take some blood sweat and tears but you got to go with it because as i said god's plan is to better you and to have and for you to have a good life here on earth so this all being said we are now going to have um the verse or not the verse of the week we are going to have the sinner's prayer or if you would like to accept jesus in your life and you're probably wondering what does that do simple answer what this does is it allows you to go to heaven if you don't go to heaven when you die you go to hell you go to one of two places heaven is a wonderful fantastic place with nothing negative everything is good you even get a new body you know there's no sorrow no anger no nothing and well nothing bad i should say and hell is the opposite it's torment torture pain suffering all that for eternity you're going to one of two places once you pass on for the rest of your life for the rest of eternity i shouldn't say the rest of your life because I mean, your life is already over but you know for the rest of eternity and eternity is an infinite amount of time and um what or if you want to accept jesus in your life then all you have to do is say this prayer and believe it with all your heart so if if you'd like that then i want you to say this prayer with us dear lord i thank you for today i thank you for the good and the bad because i know everything works for your good i believe that you sent your son jesus christ to, to die on the cross for my sins and everyone else's I believe that with all my heart. I pray that you give me your Holy Spirit and that you fire up your Holy Spirit in me. I believe, Lord, that you, or Lord, I pray and I give my life to you, Lord. I give my life, my everything, my body, my mind, my house, Lord, my mental state, everything, Lord. I give everything to you. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you said this prayer, congratulations, welcome to the family of God. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, share, comment, do all that, stay up to date with everything that we're doing. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. We hope you have a wonderful, blessed, fantastic, amazing night, day, evening, whichever it is for you. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.